Hey guys, it is me, Stormcast here. Uh, I know I haven't been uploading a lot of videos recently in the past month, but I promise you that I will be uploading a little more often. There's just not going to be vlogs. It's just going to be one of those uh, standalone videos. This video won't be long, by the way. I have something to talk to you about, and it's a little serious. Okay. A couple of days ago. Okay, you know how I uh, took that 20-mile bike ride from my house to Cataract Falls. Well, when I got there, I I was very tired and exhausted, but at the same time, I felt so proud of myself and I felt so accomplished. Because I was from here to Cataract Falls is the biggest bike ride that I've ever took. And there will be more bike rides like this. Just not right now. Probably next time I'll take a bike ride to, uh, from here to Cataract Falls. will probably be sometime next month. But anyway, me and my ex which we were friends a couple of days ago. It was on a Wednesday, I believe. I was supposed to work 7 to 3, but I ended up clocking out at 2, not 2, uh, 12.35. The reason for that being is I wasn't just, I wasn't feeling good at all. I was super tired. I was I was exhausted. I had no energy and I was getting sick. Not because of the allergies or the sickness going around, but I was getting exhausted and sick from that big bike ride that I took. I mean, that I, I put a lot a lot of stress on my body and my body just ugh, broke down. So I clocked out early, went home, took the dog out. And then as soon as I came back inside, I laid down on the couch and I fell asleep for almost four and a half hours. When I got up, my ex texted me. And we talked for a short bit. And she was sending all smiley emojis or whatever. And she sent me a picture of this, this purple flower. And I asked, and she uh, said on the bottom, she was laughing all, I don't fucking know. And I asked, why are you laughing? And she's like, blah, 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 I don't know. That basically, it everything just went downhill from there. She gets all mad and, and everything, blah, blah, blah. She tells me, fuck you, bye. Don't come back. Don't talk to me again. At the same time, m me and her both were kind of immature. But it, it wasn't the fact that she said, fuck you, don't talk to me. Leave me alone. Don't come back. Is what she said that absolutely emotionally and mentally damaged me. This may be a little too personal to talk about, but you know what? I feel like I need to open up to you guys. She sent me two long text messages. This one sentence said, She's going
Jeez. She uh, said that she was She said she was going to commit suicide because of me, and she said she's going to have my name on her suicide note. And she goes on, calls me a liar and everything else, blood and help. And she has a fucking friend attacking me. And I keep explaining to him of how horrible I feel and how sorry I am. But yeah, he goes on and says, I'm not sorry. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a worthless human being. All that shit. After what my ex said and what her friend said, I was pretty much dead silent for two days straight. I didn't want to be around people. I didn't want to talk to anyone. All I could think about is just drink, 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 drink. I wanted to drink so much that I'll die from alcohol poisoning. I know it mean my ex fight a lot, but she went. She kind of went off the deep end when she was going off on me. But at the same time, maybe I should have been a little nice, sorry. Instead of being such a dick. But but you got to think. I was sick. I wasn't feeling good. You know when I get sick. It, oh, when I get sick. Oh I'm just very tired. I'm an absolute dickhead. And I'll admit that. And I don't care who I piss on. But. It's just the fact that. The, what, what she said to me. I was sobbing my eyes I hope for two days straight I was very very upset and you know when you get upset and when you go to work you thought everything would just go away no everything just got a lot worse the, the following day I had to go outside for a minute that was when I found out what she, what my ex said to me. I had to go outside. I had to smoke a cigarette, have a breather. And a co-worker of mine came out and asked what was wrong. And for a minute, I wouldn't tell her. And I said, leave me alone. Please go away. I need to be by myself. And she wouldn't do it. So I'm like, all right, fine. I explained to her what was going on. I come back, then after that, I come back inside and my boss tells me to clock out and just leave. She didn't bother to ask if I, if everything was okay or not. And at the same time, I get it. You're at work. You go outside not telling anybody where you're at. I get that, but... You know, I'm... You know, I'm hitting my job more and more and more and that's why I'm trying I'm in the process of getting a job at a Walmart I'd rather work at Walmart than being in the restaurant business because any job can be stressful but being in the restaurant business it is very very stressful I work my ass off every single day eight hours a day I help out to keep a roof over my family's head. I pretty much use all my check to go to pay for things like bills and it pay for groceries. But that's not what this video is about. It's basically about how damaged, emotionally damaged I am from what my ex told me. I'm not going to show you the text messages because I don't, 
I don't do that shit, and, you know, if, if she's watching this, I'm sorry, but you, I may have been a dickhead, but you went off the deep end big time. What you said to me is something that you should never, ever, ever, ever say to someone that can seriously hurt somebody and damage somebody. It fucks with them. You know, you know, quite a bit, of, well, already quite a bit of people know about this, and quite frankly, all of them are saying, maybe she's just saying this to upset you. Maybe so. I don't fucking know. So yeah, there's that. I know I said this was gonna be a short video, but this would end up being a 10 minute, 11 minute video. Alright guys, I just wanted to open up to you, so like, subscribe, favorite, and share my videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.